Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck from East Earl, Pennsylvania, and you're watching Trucker Josh on TJV. Good morning, you fine person, you and all those behind him listening in the background. Hey, Trucker Josh is on. Quiet down. We're here in North Carolina. North Carolina. We're uh, going to deliver some freight right away. It's going to be fun. I can't take you along for that because it's a secret. But as soon as we're done unloading it, we're going to go over to the Atlanta area and avoid the city, but go around the city, it's on the outskirts, and pick up a load that's going back to Ontario, I believe. It's gonna be fun, I'm glad you're here, let's go. Okie dokie, as they say. How do I get out of here? I guess there's only one entrance, one exit. A little tug on the trailer, make sure it's not gonna fall off. There we go. Buckle myself in so I don't fall out. hidden away that not a lot of people know about which is good because then there's parking so this was a very interesting neighborhood to deliver into oh i'm gonna have to really button hook this corner here too i'm gonna turn right here <laughs> there's a commercial business in here but it is a residential road so i'm gonna have to go all the way around wide like this so that i don't take out this stop sign on my right oh as far as i can over here Stop, make sure there's no traffic coming. All right. I don't want to go on these people's lawn here, but I don't have to. Oh, we got it. We got it, just barely. I need my mirror. Thank you. Silly diesel. As soon as we start moving, he gets all excited, right? But some of you have asked before, like, how do I get diesel to lay down? All I gotta do is whisper to him and say, hey, Diesel, I need my mirror. And he, boom, hits the dirt. <laughs> Diesel. Kilometer, turn right on Springs Road. Diesel is a trucking dog. He has grown up in the truck with me and he is trained to be in the truck. So he knows when I say get down, he gets down now. Not in five seconds, not maybe think about it, maybe, no. When I say get down, I need my mirror, boom, he lays down. In 600 meters, turn right on Springs Road. Holy, the speed limit here is 45 miles an hour. I'm doing 30 and I'm like, yeah, this is fast enough for this road. 45? Wow. I wouldn't go that fast. <laughs> Maybe because I'm in a big truck. Like this road is really narrow. I'm on the yellow line on my left and I'm on the white line on my right. <laughs> 45 mile an hour. That's like 70 kilometers an hour. That's the speed limit on this little residential road. North Carolina doesn't mess around. They need to get places. Turn right on Springs Road. They need to get places. They need to get places now. 45 mile an hour. Hammer down. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, I gotta turn right here now. Oh, I'm gonna have to do the button hook again. Okay. So we're gonna go all the way up this way so that I can make this corner to my right. Stop. Look both ways. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Just barely again. Oh, just barely. Just squeak past. These deliveries make trucking fun. <laughs> but it's only fun because there's not a lot of traffic. If this was like non-stop traffic here, Karen, no one cares. If 
there was non-stop traffic on these roads, this would not be as fun. But since there's no traffic, I mean, it's, it's fun to see how small of a tiny little neighborhood I can fit into. Because when else am I going to have to do this? I'm only allowed in these places when I have a delivery in these places. And you can't just come for a joyride through here in a semi for no reason. <laughs> wow, it's a big tree. Off to the right. Wow, those are big trees. That's crazy. What a beautiful area of North Carolina. Beautiful countryside here. That is my kind of area. The people I delivered to were great too. Really friendly people. The first Flying J we found. We're going in for a shower because I have shower credits. There's a part here, or these are all reserved over here. I don't think that means much during the day. It just means for night, but oh, we're all back here. See what we find back here. I don't think I've ever stopped at this one before. You guys seen the Flying J and Pilot Flying J? They've been having uh, building these shops at a lot of their locations now. It's kind of nice, eh? You can get your truck serviced here. Tires and everything done. I like it when they have that right at the truck stops. I don't know why Canada can't figure that out. Put the service centers at the truck stop. That's how you make money, yes. All right, look at all this parking in here. Wonderful, wonderful. Yikes, it's quite a big lot in here. I don't know where we're gonna park. We have so many choices. I'm all showered up and smelling like a million bucks. I don't know what a million bucks smells like, but I imagine it would smell like me right now. Oh. Let's get back out there on the road. We have another uh, four hours of driving to go yet. And we have a drop yard there. I'm gonna sleep in our drop yard. And uh, there should be a load there for me tomorrow. Should be fun. Let's get going. Got to sort of sneak past Atlanta. Off we go. I like, I forget who said it in my comment section right now. I'd have to look it up, but you know how I always used to say, hi ho, hi ho, off to work I go. The correct way to say it is I O, I O. So it's off to work I go. I owe money. Just like you, just like everybody else. Manageable, but you know, they're always working on ways to owe less. And that starts by going to work. So I owe my own, it's off to work I go. I wonder what it's like working a 40 hour week. You know, like a normal person. It must be nice. It must be really nice. I think this is the exit. Yep. Same way we came in. I also got myself a coffee. I'm excited about it. It's gonna be good. I got myself a chicken wings too. Even more excited about that. Life is good. Chicken wings and coffee. All right, bud, what are you doing here, Mr. PTL? You're just hanging around. There you go, you found your gears. There you go. Whoop, oh, nope, he found his brake pedal again. Oh, there's somebody backing up. Well, what are you doing over there, Mr. Roll? What are both of you doing? Okay, so he must be backing into a spot over there. And this guy's probably gonna do a little U-turn and go into the pumps. Meanwhile, we've generated a kerfuffle. A little random group of vehicles with no one quite really knowing what everyone else is doing. Get a CB, Trucker Josh! I know, I hear you. I hear you. I have a CB. I left it in my old truck, though, and I don't know what happened to it. So I gotta get a new one. I don't like the CB radio. There's a whole bunch of people yelling at each other on there all the time. But it does come in handy every now and then. It does come in handy. There we go. There we go. All right, PTL, I want to kindly get out of my way. Like, what is 
everybody doing? I just want to go to work. Didn't you get it in there the first time, bud? You had to pull all the way back out? It's okay. It happens. I'll forgive you. Well, what is this guy doing parked right here? This guy on the right. Southeastern Aluminum. That's not a parking spot at all. What are you doing there, bud? Oh, boy. Always a... Always a gong show at the truck stop, right? Doesn't matter where you are. Well, we survived Atlanta. Just a little ways further to go here, and I'm going to be staying outside the city tonight. What's this sign say? Masks are in every. Or masks are in. Everybody is wearing them. Oh, I get what they did there. Trying to be cool. Masks are in, man. Everyone's wearing them. Really? Really? We're here at our drop yard here in Georgia, south of Atlanta, and there's some weird critters making sounds in the bushes here. Can any of you Georgianers, Georgianites, Georgians, Georgians, can any of you Georgians tell me what in the world this is? Listen, listen, it's crazy. I know you can't see anything, but just listen, do you hear that? That sounds like a mammoth cricket. Like a cricket that could come out of that bush over there and eat me. What is that? It's been going on since I got here for like an hour. No breaks. I really hope that that uh, picked up on the mic. I might have to boost the audio for that there. That would be so annoying living here because I want to open my windows. It's hot, right? But it's not hot enough that I want to idle my truck all night but it's hot I want to have my my windows open put my screens in here open up the windows in the back and sleep but I'm gonna to have to go find a different place to park because those guys I can hear it with the windows closed that's crazy <laughs> it's crazy